everybody, and welcome to G for G Games for Gamers. I'm your host, Napalm Dawn, and today we're going to go ahead and recruit Boomerang. Try him in action. Uh, we'll pause the video as I level him up from three to, well, from one to two for the three minutes over there. Uh, then we'll take a look at him. So, today's background soundtrack has been brought to you by Echo the Dolphin OST. Even though I didn't own a Genesis, I did actually play this game all the way through way back when it was released. A lot of fun. Very, very uh, tough game. Back from an era of games where, honestly, I just think they were tougher than a lot of the games today. Echo the Dolphin was, was a pretty tough game. So as you can see here, my bonus bar is filled up. So when I open that 10, that is going to be a guaranteed last one over here. I have had an absolute shit time for this particular lockbox hero. This is probably the worst lockbox hero that I can certainly recall. Um, especially since the institution of the, uh, the bonus bar. I have just fill that thing up like crazy. First, I may as well go ahead and get 10 of these superior ones. Not that I expect anything fancy from those uh, older ones. So the weapons in the boomerang box definitely seem to be the blade blaster, and I believe there is something else. Although I do not recall what it was. I, I think I've got all the weapons from here. But, alright, so here's my last 10. This is a guaranteed cover and a guaranteed boomerang. By the way, if anybody likes energy drinks, this stuff, Monster Ultra Red, I really like this stuff. Uh, the can's got some texture to it. So, it's got a nice grip, pretty good flavor to it. Um, I like the Monster products, not the old regular Monster, but this one and the, uh, the rehab ones. The one that's uh, the, the T Rehab, really good stuff. I also like this red one. And for the Ultra Series, I kind of like the white. Why is it always got to be white, huh? Why can't there be an Ultra Red Black? Why can't the Black can't get it on the action become popular? All right, so here's Boomerang. Hey, Agent, good to see you. How's the family? What, just because I whacked you across the head a few times in the past? Yeah, you did. Doesn't mean we can't be friends. Alright, so here he is. Here is the final collection. They're all Spider-Man covers. We've even got a black suit there. He's featured on that cover. Alright, so let's bring him into the Spec Ops. And uh, let's give him a try. So as you can see, I four-starred all of these. I do have this weapon, and I do have that weapon. So I think I will take him to the epic one over here. Take a look at him in level one combat. I'll even equip some of the Spec Ops gear. So we can kind of kill two birds with one stone and take a look at that. You know, I was actually spending a bit of gold there to get... I was so frustrated at the amount of duplicates that I was getting that the last pack of maybe 10 or 20 lockboxes, I just decided to buy. I was like, fuck it, I know I'm going to get more. I know I'm going to get more kingpins as time goes on. I I'm just I'm frustrated. I just want them now. Here's 10 gold. Here's another 10. Fuck duplicates, duplicates. All right. So, it was it just really, really, really bad luck with Boomerang for me. Uh, so, we'll leave Mordo in, because I'm leveling him. So, we'll bring Boomerang in. I think I will get the Boomerang Launcher. Hopefully, it's available uh, relatively close to the beginning. So I don't have to go searching too far for it. But it looks like I will be. So there's the stake thrower, which is from the 
uh, blade spec ops that looks very similar to the the blade blaster which is that one so this is one of the weapons in the lock boxes i think this is the other one right here is the bleak harvest so definitely a lot of slashing weapons and here is the boomerang launcher i do want to get that And uh, I think I will take out the rocket pistol and I will get the mailbox that I just happened to win recently also. If I can find that thing. Yeah, Echo was, Echo was definitely a, uh, a fun game. Tough, challenging, definitely a lot of reloads we didn't really have that much in the way of the internet at the time so finding out where things were and you know where is that dolphin that you had to find on this map and how do you get around this wall um definitely a lot tougher to figure out there was no game faqs.com back then All right, so we will phase Mordo. By the way, Mordo is an absolute killer if you can set him up with flight. The ability to do his level 2 or his level 6 and then have it follow up with his level 1. Really, really strong combo. So I'm going to go ahead and smack somebody with the mailbox. I wonder if internal bleeding would count for the devourer. So here we have his multifunction right away. We have a bleeding razor ring. We have the burning shatter ring. We have the iso corruption iso ring. And we have the static charge electro ring. They all have desperation. They are all stealthy and they all have what goes around comes around which is a chance to hit their target an additional time. I'm going to go ahead and ice and rank that guy to weaken his stats. So the Devourer does proc, and that is probably because internal bleeding is going to count. And we get the Isosaur Whisper proccing. Very, very cool for that, because that is a free flanked now. So let's try out the Boomerang Launcher. Pretty solid hit. Pretty impressive. I don't know if we'll see Mordo in PvP or not. There's a chance. I could maybe see him with certain team ups on defense. Uh, could be particularly interesting. You may see him on offense too, controlling his abilities, straining the right people. Uh, he may show up on offense, especially with the phasing, but I don't know how his AI is going to work yet on defense, so that'll be particularly interesting. A stealthy tactician. That could be pretty powerful down the line. The ability to walk around infiltrators, the ability to hit people uh, like Emma and how popular she got at the end of the season with the Elite ISO and everything. Uh, it, he could be strong. Again, not... Oh, good. Another Isis or Whisper proc. Not somebody you're going to want to run on defense. He's just way too complicated. I mean, he is excessively complicated for defense the fact that he has so many multifunctions way way too risky for defense all right so we had a follow-up on that one and it looked like the razor ring was the follow-up there on that so I don't think it follows up with the exact same boomerang that it throws so much as it follows up with his default. But that was that was because of the flank from the Isosaur Whisper. We don't necessarily know that that was because of the actual boomerang. Alright, so what we're going to do is pause for now. And uh, I will level him up to 2 and get him trained. And we will be back after that. So, be back in a moment. 
All right, folks, we are back. Boomerang is now level two. So we'll take him out as level two. First, we'll go ahead and discuss exactly what he is all about. And then we'll see what he's like at level two. So, he is a tactician. He has a passive bottom of the ninth boomerangs deal increasing damage as his health lowers. Increased chance to trigger what goes around when health is low. Circular flight. Boomerangs. Boomerangs do not travel in a straight line and are always stealthy, avoiding protected counterattacks. Master marksman. Attacks almost never miss. Attacks against marked targets are guaranteed to crit. Low health, very high stamina, very poor attack, very poor defense, very high accuracy, very high evasion. So building him for the PKB method of stats, you're going to build up his health, his attack, his accuracy, and his evasion. But it does seem like because his accuracy and evasion are so high, you will really be able to spend a lot of points bumping up his uh, health and attack. So, we have pain orangs, and we've already looked at this. We've got the bleeding, the burning, the isocorruption, and the static charge. Here we now have at level 2 the reduced potential. Neutralized and exhausted at only 75% for each. Grounded, off balance, and winded 75% for the two opportunist ones and a 60% chance to stun. We have the Tracker Rang at level six. That's where the targeted is. It also does remote tracking. Boomerangs will attempt to hit this target in addition to their primary. And Fumbling, it is a big three round cooldown. Uh, and it's not like a QA or anything, but at 15, you can activate tactical bonus you could track and rang one person and then start boomeranging another. And then we have wind up, which is a quick action. Measured throws. Boomerangs no longer have a chance to return. They have a chance to preemptively interrupt attacks during the next round and wind up. So targeted. Let us go over to the wiki real quick and see what else does targeted. Uh, this way you can go ahead and um, help things out a bit, which will also help the boomerang launcher. So if we take a look at targeted, targeted the debuff effect, that's what we're looking for. So the scrapper's Aegis armor can do it, the uh, multifunction BMKG rifle will do it. 50% chance from the Eclipse, the two Infiltrator items, the Marksman Scouter or Spotter, the Might of Adelin, and the Peace Pulsar. We also get it coming from Black Widow, Cable, Chase, Jessica Jones, which is pretty cool, Moon Knight and his Captain America persona, Omega Sentinel, Rocket Raccoon, Taskmaster, and War Machine. So War Machine does it with his Strategic Analysis. Ash Master does it from his Infiltrator set. Probably Rocket Raccoon is going to be one of the best ways of getting that out, along with the, uh, the Marksman items. Alright, so let's jump back into Spec Ops. Let me see if any of my Marksman items are quick actions. Maybe we could bring that to the fight over here. Alright, so we'll take a look at replacing the Isosaur Whisperer. We'll type out Mark. So yes, we do have the Marksman Spotter. So we'll go ahead and bring that in. That'll help Boomerang and the Boomerang Launcher. I'm going to say it again, and I've said it 50 times before, I'll say it 5,000 times more after. 
God, I wish Mordo had AoE. I find it ridiculous that none of his abilities are AoE. I think Sinister Summoning should definitely be an AoE item. I mean, Strange has got it. It just, it seems really weak that he doesn't. The tacticians are having a field day off of Mortar over here, but because he's phased, nothing's happening. So, we will go ahead and marksman spotter this infiltrator. And we'll boomerang launch him, which sounds like a standard pistol when you have the audio on. All right, let's try the exhausted one on one of these guys here. Still not seeing it come back yet. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that Boomerang is going to need a little bit of work in the health department. That is, uh, that is for definitely sure. Was pretty fun right there. Reduce potential. Let's see what this may do. Pretty weak hit. Still not seeing it come back around yet though, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, so let's go ahead and do one more. You know, when I, when I think of uh, mark target and targeted and everything, uh, I definitely consider Hawkeye for something like that. Man, you know, when I would occasionally stream my Spec Ops items uh, over to Twitch since we don't have any PvP currently, I've said this a bunch of times, I hate Shocker's face in this Spec Ops. I mean, his skin is good, he seems to miss a lot with his attacks, but his face, he looks like Grumpy Cat. I just don't like the way they uh, drew the face on that sprite. I think it's kind of awful. And this track from Echo is, is kind of annoying. Alright, so let's exhaust this uh, Magia Captain so he doesn't get an extra attack. And yet again, still not seeing the uh, what goes around, but it probably is going to activate more frequently when he gets lower in health. That's probably how they balanced it. That it's not going to do a whole hell of a lot at full health. This guy I'm actually going to go ahead and hit with the mailbox. Nice. Hey, so, yeah, um... In case it wasn't obvious from earlier, internal bleeding definitely does count properly as bleeding for the Devourer, which is pretty nice. In the break while uh, Boomerang was leveling, I was kind of thinking how interesting it would be to bring Devourer to a Spitfire multi-follow-up team. But I kind of looked and Spitfire, yeah, you could put um, Pulpy on her level 1, and then I think it would, uh, it would work. So as you can see, the Boomerang Launcher and the Mailbox are okay. I mean, they're not the hardest hitting thing in the world, but they're not, they're not pansy weapons either. They do a, a pretty good amount of damage. My agent's actually getting his ass kicked here. I never actually do this. I never ban anybody. I just pretty much go raw offense when it comes to Mordo, but I'm going to delay things a little bit over here to get out the alluring light. And let's get out some bleeding, so hopefully we can get some Devourer procs over here. There 
There we go. But it is going to miss the bottom guy because he's banded. So we've got the uh, the crimson bands have expired on the bottom guy. I kind of, in a way, think they would have been good to give Boomerang like a distraction Boomerang. Um, something that may disorient or blind the other person. But I, I guess that might have made him too powerful. They seem to have him dealing with uh, opportunistic and attrition. Which, you know, it might mean that with everything in his kit, he might be a good team up with somebody like Punisher. Uh, because Punisher does so many different things and you get the ISA that makes the van exploit all of it. Boomerang might also be a, uh, a pretty decent setup for Punisher. He's going to be pretty good for opportunistic teams and he's probably going to be pretty good for attrition teams. But there he is. There is Boomerang at, in action at level 1 and level 2. I think he's okay. Um... I don't really think he's going to make too much of a splash on defense at all. But he certainly might make it to some people's offensive team. But I don't really think you're going to see him at the Spartan level. I mean, it remains to be seen as we get him leveled up and we get him ISO'd and he becomes 15. It gets the tactical bonus. Um, he certainly can work with certain teams. The fact that he has that static boomerang... I could see it possibly working for like a, uh, you know, a Victor or a Thor or a, uh, a Beta Ray Bill team or Carolina proccing her uh, stacks with like the Rectifier or something like that. Uh, he can be a setup for Bleeds. He's got the Ice of Corruption. So he, he's decent, but uh, I don't think we'll see a PvP splash for him. But he, he may be certainly fun in PvE as we've seen here today. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Boomerang in action. Got about two weeks left in the Spec Ops, so I hope everybody gets to farm what they're looking for over here. I haven't really played around with any of the Magius set pieces, but I'm reasonably impressed by the Boomerang launcher and the, uh, the mailbox. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, everybody.